Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. So today we're going to talk about using Kden Live Editor to edit 4K 2160p video. Now, normally when you use the Kden Live Editor, the timeline can be a little bit choppy even in 1080p, but there are some setting changes that you can make that th make things work a little bit better as far as the timeline goes, and that's called proxy clips. So let's get started okay so first I'm gonna load a template that I created recently but while we're working here I'm gonna show you all the changes that I made to turn this into a 4k project so first of all for any new project if you go and click on project you can go down to project settings and of course you have tons of different settings now normally by default it's full HD 1080p and it's 30 frames a second but what I've done is actually changed it to 4k UHD 2160p 30 frames per second I've changed the encoding profile to x264 if you leave it as MPEG it'll use a 4 to 3 ratio instead of the 16 to 10 video ratio that we're normally used to uh, preview profile leave as auto but make sure you do turn on proxy clips you'll need to do that and then click OK so once I've done that what I usually do is go ahead and save my project as a different name and I've got one here I've already created so I'll just click save and I'm gonna overwrite it the reason I want to do that is I have templates set up with the files the way I want them including the audio and any title clips that might come up in my intro clip here and these are the things that I don't want to have to recreate every single time I start editing so I just have this template set up so what I have here are some 4k 2160p video files here that I've taken so I'm gonna grab a couple of these uh, let's see let's get a couple that are a little bit longer so I'm gonna grab two and I'm gonna move them over here into the timeline or the project bin I should say and I can select more than one so if I click on one just like with a file manager I can use control to click on another one or if I had a huge list I could use the shift key to select a large range then if I right click I want to click the option that says proxy clip and you'll see right away in the case of my video files the P for proxy appeared immediately the reason that is is because I've already uh, created these as proxy clips previously so it immediately turned the P on to show that they're proxy clips but normally you would see a render bar that'll go across here until it's completed and for a file of this size 39 seconds it only takes maybe five or ten seconds for fi per file keeping in mind that I am using a Ryzen 7 1700 and I have 16 gigs of RAM now will this work on a slower machine yes absolutely uh, my older machine was a Phenom X2 uh, no I'm sorry a Phenom 2 x6 1055t and that system could do 4k rendering as long as I created the proxy clips it ran just fine now I'm gonna add another one in here uh, let's take this one so this one I'm not going to proxy I'm gonna drop this in my timeline and I want you to see how this plays so here is my intro clip which is just 1080p you can see how fluid that one is and then when we hit 4k I don't know if you can tell but it's barely advancing the frames so maybe two to three frames a second now watch what happens when it hits the title it gets even worse if you were trying to listen to the audio you would be hearing stoppage every three frames every two frames you really it, it becomes impossible to edit on the timeline or scrub or do anything so what we're gonna do I'm gonna go up here and right click that clip 
and I'm going to change that one to a proxy clip as well. Now the first thing you'll see is that the quality of the preview becomes much less. So if I actually zoom this into full screen, you can see that the quality is very low now. But when I go to do playback again, we'll go back here and we'll run our playback. This is not the greatest clip to be using for this, but you can see now that the movement is fluid, the timeline's progressing normally, everything looks great, the clips are coming up, the titles are coming up. So I would be able to make my decisions on how I wanted to edit this, and if I was to, say, add an effect to this, uh, change the color maybe, what do we have here? Let's throw grayscale down here and I'm gonna go back a little bit so I'm in that title and press play I still have a nice fluid timeline even though I'm now adding effects to this particular clip so basically what this means is you're able to edit in 4k now I'm gonna turn off that uh, grayscale and I think I'm gonna delete this clip I want to get you a clip that's a little more active yeah, this one will work. I'm going to drop this one down in. And what I'm going to do is click here on the timeline. And I'm going to set an endpoint. And then I'll click over here. And I'll set an out point. And before I go to render, I'm going to go to settings, configure Caden Live, and environment. When we're editing, we want the environment to be one processing thread because unfortunately uh, if you have more processing threads the timeline is completely unusable so that's not a supported function yet to go over one thread but if you are rendering or exporting your video you do want to increase that so what I usually do is give it eight processing threads that seems to be the sweet spot with regard to my Ryzen 7 1700, so I use 8. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and do a render. And instead of the full project, I'm going to do a selected zone. And I want to show you the settings that I use when I do a render. So quality, uh, the lower the number on video, the higher the quality, the higher the number on audio, uh, the higher the quality so it's kind of counterintuitive there but 20 is probably like I don't know like 90 percent quality it's more than that honestly you cannot tell a difference between the lowest setting 15 and 20 and 160 would be uh, 160 kilobytes render for the audio and then encoder speed the higher you go in speed uh, let's see if it'll show again ultra fast the higher you go in speed the greater the size of the file so I figured this was a comfortable medium and I again set threads for eight in encoding so I'm gonna go ahead now that I've selected the zone and render it to file and we're gonna go ahead and overwrite it and then once it gets done rendering we'll have a look at the file okay so our renders complete I'm gonna go ahead and click close here uh, just so you know, for those of you who are curious, uh, when you're rendering small pieces, it seems to take a reasonable amount of time. So we rendered about 40 seconds there, and it took a minute and 36 seconds, so approximately twice as long. But I've rendered much longer videos in 4K, and the time does not take... Uh, twice as long it's usually a little bit faster so uh, don't be concerned about 4k rendering it is really not that bad okay so we've got this clip let's go check it out so if I go to my Caden live folder videos and edited here's our render and I'm gonna go ahead and open it and then I'm gonna set it as full screen so you can see it so as you can see, it's definitely in 4K. Now I've noticed that you saw that green flash when the title came up. Sometimes the titles cause problems, and when you see that, the easiest thing to do is just recreate the title, and then usually it's perfectly fine. 
So hopefully this is helpful for you. If so, let me know. Drop me a comment if you're using Caden Live as an editor. I'm going to start doing a regular video series with Caden Live editing. So anything that I think of that comes up, I'll go ahead and create a short video on editing with Caden Live. If you did enjoy it, definitely drop me a comment. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed and you're into Linux based stuff, consider subscribing. Uh, if you can and you did enjoy the video, consider sharing. And I hope to see you again on Fast Gadgets. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you again.